In the fairy tale version of Sleeping Beauty, a kiss is all that's needed to wake up the maiden. But the parents you're about to meet face this nightmare in real life. Their daughter began to sleep for days, sometimes more than a week at a time, with seemingly no medical explanation. And their hunt for a cure became a life-consuming quest. Here's ABC's Juju Chang, what they finally found. Louisa Ball isn't your average oversleeping teenager. I think, oh, I'm going to lose my daughter again. No. Oh, do you want to have something to eat? She suffers from a rare disease that keeps her in bed, passed out for weeks at a time, and has her parents losing sleep from worry. When you know that she's asleep for that length of time, you feel as though you've lost her for that period. The ordeal started for the Ball family two years ago, when a case of the flu triggered the beginning of Louisa's extreme sleep episodes. It was a difficult time. Um, worried sick, I suppose, is the, uh, the expression. During her long slumbers, her parents could only rouse her for bathroom Hi. breaks and ravenous feedings. Hi. She'd go through a whole packet of biscuits, or she'd eat five or six packets of crisps, anything she could get her hands on. And it was a case of almost like a you know, hamster hibernating and the food would get stuffed in. And you'd have to step in and say, well, that's enough. I asked to see the dietitian, obviously, because I was concerned. She is missing out on all the goodness. And the recommendation there said, um, when she is awake, give her smoothies. So that's what we did for a while, give her the smoothies as a drink, because then she'd be getting like food as well as fluid. She'd lose 10 pounds during an episode, but it wasn't just the odd eating. Her behavior was even odder, offensive, almost primal mood swings. They're horrible, they're scary, it's like a different child. Louisa's parents knew it was coming on when their otherwise sweet-natured daughter would snap at people rudely. Yeah, sleep you can deal with because, mm. you know, it's obviously um, you know, not as confrontational, but when she's up and she's confrontational, it was, that was a scarier moment. A year before college, Louisa missed weeks of school and fell behind on her beloved dance classes. Once a month, for a solid week or so, she'd sleep. Couldn't have been the worst week, could it, looking at that? Did you miss your school assignments? Yeah, I missed my, like, end of school exams. Um, I've missed, like, family holidays, birthdays. At first, the doctors were as baffled as her parents. Everything goes through your mind and you, you, you wonder whether or not she has taken a drug or to see all the various medical professionals and, and not get any answers because you go to a doctor's and you think someone's going to have the answer but to go to the six months that we did without anybody telling us what it was it was you know pretty frustrated and then a breakthrough we got referred eventually to a consultant in london i was referred to it as the champagne and hangover moment because we went in there and the good news was that i think i know what's wrong with your daughter and then the bad news is, but we know there's no cure. As Louisa's story began to unfold in the media, headlines called her Sleeping Beauty. So we all know the fairy tale, right? Beautiful princess, evil witch, a spinning wheel. A poisonous splinter sends the beautiful princess into a 100-year slumber. But hark, a handsome prince a kiss, and presto, it's happily ever after. Only it didn't seem like there would be a happily ever after this time. Louisa was diagnosed with Klein-Levin syndrome, an incurable autoimmune disorder that essentially triggers a reaction in a specific part of the brain. Well, the hypothalamus and the thalamus are very important for sleep control, as well as eating, maybe temperature regulation, um, and irritability. KLS more often affects males and usually hits at adolescence with a virus. It seems to bring on the long hibernation, the aggressive moodiness. It can become very aggressive. They can hit, punch, scratch, where they normally would not do this, especially if somebody wakes them up from a sleeping period. Louisa would swear at her mother. It's something she would never do in her normal state. Right. And that's typical of the disorder. For now, mood stabilizers like lithium and hormone therapies may help around the edges, but it doesn't ward off the sleep. When you wake up, Louisa, from one of these episodes, does it seem credible to you that you've been asleep for 10 days? I'm always confused to like what day it is because obviously I don't know how long I've slept for. Then when I realize, I'm like, wow, <laughs> that's a long time. What do you feel like 
um, refreshed. <laughs> Her long slumbers are less frequent now. She recently went five months without one, and experts say most KLS sufferers can outgrow it after 10 to 12 years. That's a good toned tummy. And what is the fairy tale that she falls asleep? Uh, she, somebody cast a spell on her, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe somebody cast a spell, and then, yeah. but there's a handsome there's a prince, handsome handsome prince, prince. involved. Yeah, right. so is waiting there, for that handsome prince. <laughs> is there a handsome prince in your life? Huh? <laughs> so do you feel like a fairy tale come to life? Despite the lack of a handsome prince, Luisa is not waiting around for a magical kiss. Her family donates money to the KLS Foundation in it's California in hopes of finding their own magic potion to ward off the dark fairy tale for good. I'm Juju Chang for Nightline in Worthing, England.